We begin tonight with a sense of closure for two local families forever changed by this 2022 car crash. Two high school girls died when a speeding BMW jumped a curb outside their high school and ran into them. Tonight, a jury found that teenage driver guilty. Hello, everybody, and welcome into News 4 at 11 tonight. I'm Jim Adley. And I'm Leon Harris. Sean is off tonight. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey was inside the Fairfax County courtroom tonight when the verdict came down, and she explains the bold move that the judge made immediately afterwards. Dramatic moments in the courtroom just as the verdict was announced. The judge ruling that the defendant, Usman Shahid, should be immediately jailed. The victim's families breaking into tears as they heard the jury's decision, guilty on two counts of involuntary manslaughter. The mother of one of the victims who was killed telling our Telemundo 44 partner, quote, I feel like I can finally breathe again. We are beginning to get justice. The tragic crash happened as the three girls were walking home from school on an early release day. The driver of a forerunner turning left from Blake Lane onto Five Oaks Road testified he'd stopped in the roadway to let the girls cross when a BMW slammed into him. Evidence showed that driver of the BMW, Usman Shahid, had accelerated to 81 miles an hour in a 35-mile-per-hour zone at the time of the crash. Shahid lost control of the car and ran up on the sidewalk, striking three girls, killing two and badly injuring one of them. Shahid had only a learner's permit at the time. Shahid's defense attorney had urged jurors to find him not guilty, arguing it was the driver of the SUV who caused the crash. The prosecutor said Shahid alone was responsible for the deaths. Here's what the uncle of victim Gabby Martinez Nolasco had to say about the guilty verdict. I feel that justice was served. She grew up with us, and this is very painful for us. This will not bring her back, but we feel at peace that justice was served. The next step in this trial is the sentencing hearing, which begins tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. That's when the victim's family get their chance to tell the jurors what this devastating loss has done to them. We will also hear from the teenage girl who survived the crash. Usman Shahid could get up to 20 years in prison. Reporting in Fairfax County, I'm Julie Carey, News 4.